Welcome back, everybody. We have just borne witness to will. an intense struggle yeah. between rival mages, Bentha and Zordril. Let's actually see if we can identify those magical robes that Zordril was re wearing until recently. Perhaps this merchant can assist us. It seems he can. He says they are knaves' robes. They have a minor bonus to your armor class versus slashing weapons, and your saving throw versus death. Excellent. Let's pass those off to Zan, so he can make use of them. And let's continue yeah. on. See what we have in this rather large tent here. We've only been in this carnival for about five minutes, and we've already managed to kill one person and rescue two others. It's not too terrible odds. Some gamesmen, commoners. Hmm. Seems like a gambling hall here. Well, as paladins, I cannot say that we condone these activities. Let's move on. Imowen has no such reservations. Heads back inside. I've done a toss of the bones to make your fortune. Double your money on a winning roll. I'll wager a gold. And we're a winner. We've already doubled our coins. Take one and give us two. Excellent. Take your chance Let's wager two gold. And a winner again. Fascinating. Could Come in make a fortune here. Let's have one more roll. The lady looks away and we lose. Sorry. Next. Alright, that's enough for now. We've sated our thirst for gambling. I've done Let's enough. investigate As this tent here. We have a number of commoners. It's more gamesmen. Yeah. Ooh, Vitieri. Who's this fellow here? He's coming to see us. Good day. Consider yourselves victimized by Vitier. Master thief and pickpocket extraordinaire. No time to chat. We've lost a hundred gold. Perhaps there's time for murder. I'm actually trying to pick pocket him. Failed. Helm, give me strength. Pickpocket must be put to death. He's escaped. He's made good. He's pickpocket here. Let's see if we can catch him. He has already left the carnival. Yeah. It's unfortunate indeed. Perhaps we'll come across him again though. Let's take a look over here. There's anything of interest. Seems like a a jousting tournament, perhaps. Stadium here. With Helm's blessing. Don't see any other attractions though. So we'll just take a look at another tent or two. And then head out. Let's see what we have in here. A merchant, garbed in black. It's quite wordy. He's paid thrice the price for his iron wares, and not a piece is saleable. He does, however, have potions of strange magic from a distant shore. A swallow of the violet and a titan's might shall possess you. Exceptional strength is yours. The red mixture and your insight will rival Elminster. Elminster, of course, being renowned throughout the realms as an extraordinarily powerful wizard. The bargain price of 50 gold apiece. Oh, if it does what you say, I would gladly take it. I feel stronger just holding it in my hand. And he wishes to sell us the red elixir as well. Well, if the first is genuine, I'll take the second as well. And he shoes us out, as we've picked him clean. He can afford no more good deeds this day. Well, I'm sure that they do precisely as he said. We have an unidentified potion of violet and red complexions. But surely there is no false what advertising here. Blessing. An honest merchant, if I ever saw one myself. Let's head to Nashgel. Yeah. Before we forget, I believe we have a ring to turn into... Joseph's wife. She'll be most distraught to hear news of his demise. Hopefully she doesn't mind us barging in at the late hour. I 
I shall deliver her husband's ring. Oh, seems like the lock has not been fixed yet. Yeah. She was. We found his greenstone ring, but I'm afraid we think he's dead. We're very sorry for your pain. Here, have his ring to remember him with. She is gracious indeed. And Khalid has actually gained a level. So we'll go ahead and see what that brings. We have a proficiency point to spend further. And as a fighter, he's the only fighter in our party, he is the only one capable of reaching Grand Mastery level of proficiency. Uh, up to a maximum of five stars here. One of the benefits of playing a fighter class is that you can become more proficient with a weapon than any other class. With Helm's blessing. Thus making you more likely to strike and inflict more damage. So we'll go ahead and pump up his long swords. And continue on. We should speak with the mayor, assuming he is prowling out and about at this late hour. And share our findings in the mine with him. Oh, but first, we might have a word of Ublek. We do have those emeralds that we liberated from a Prism. I've come to turn in the bounty and collect the reward that is duly ours. 300 gold bounty for the emeralds. Of course, we probably could have just sold them for more, but being the honest folk that we are, let's see if there are any other bounties currently unclaimed. The wayward captain of the guard is still on the loose, Commander Braj. We shall keep our eyes open for him. With Helm's blessing. And here's Baird and Gast Kill. As you will. Stand away, citizen. We have returned. It seems he was right to trust us. The town thanks us wholeheartedly, and he awards us a small fortune of nine hundred gold. Excellent. And I have leveled up. Orion would be proud of your actions. Let's go ahead and see what we have here. So I've already maxed out my proficiency in bows and large swords. I think I shall foray into the use of blunt weapons. Clubs, war hammers, and maces and the like. By this can be extremely useful for when slashing damage just won't hell. do the trick. And of course I've also gained more paladin-like abilities. Detecting and protecting ourselves from evil. Go ahead and actually try one of those out. Protect myself and a jauntus. And this will make us more resilient when faced with those of an evil alignment. So I'll go ahead and pass that on all of my frontline fighters. And then let's have Jahira speak to the shopkeep. Seems we've encountered a small bug. Uh, sometimes you'll be unable to speak to an NPC. A quick and easy fix is to quickly save the game and reload. And that should take care of it. It's no harm done. Let's see what he has to offer. We can first of all sell some of these scrolls that we have lying around, but some of which we might hang on to for further use. We have some unidentified items that would be well worth investing in learning more about. Let's see if he can tell us what they are. Boots and leather armor, a ring, and some darts. I think that should be just about everything. Let's also see if there's any other items here that we were interested in. We could buy some plate mail armor for Jahira, but I think we'll come across some on our own shortly. And actually, I'm going to buy the sleep spell back since Zan unsuccessfully attempted to learn it earlier. Let's see if he's more successful this time around. And he was. So he has successfully copied the mage spell into his book. And we have some leather armor plus two. See if anyone can make use of that. And a ring of holiness, the honorary ring of Sune, given to faithful priests. It grants an additional spell of each level from first to fourth, only usable by clerics and druids. Well, it's pretty e easy to narrow down to just Jahira. And lastly, some boots of grounding. Talos's gift. Talos is, of course, the god of storms, but he is known to be an evil and vengeful god. It increases your electricity resistance by 50%. I suppose I'll don those myself. That way I'll be less easily shocked by what I see in our travels. Let's see the 
armor class of the leather armor being six, and her studded leather plus one, also six. So that will not be necessary. And then the ring of holiness shall equip that to Jahira, and it gives us an additional, we'll say, remove fear. That could be a useful spell, so we'll go ahead and add that to her repertoire. And I will quickly pause the video, and we'll be back in just a moment.